a long time. Um, anyway, I so I really appreciate their help. Um, anyway, I don't know. Well, I'm not local, obviously. You probably haven't seen me before. Um, but uh, I'm originally from Macedonia. That's in uh, Eastern Europe. For those that don't know, it's okay. It's uh, north of Greece. Everybody knows Greece, so um, probably if you've traveled to Greece, you've flown over Macedonia, <laughs> yeah, so uh, it's, um, it's okay. Um, um, I've been in the U.S. for uh, nine years now, so I came in 2006 for, uh, for school. So I did my undergrad at the University of Alabama in uh, Huntsville, Alabama. I was there for almost five years. And then I moved to Wichita, Kansas uh, for my graduate school uh, in uh, Wichita State University for uh, three years. And I graduated last year in May of 2014. And since then, uh, I've been having a really interesting journey. Um, so I already have done two residency, artist residency. I'm currently in one, and there's another one coming up uh, in May. And this is my second solo show this this year. Um, so um, next, actually in July, I'm moving back to my country. So and I'm uh, hoping uh, my plan is to open an artist residency in the capital of Macedonia because um, you know it's looking more like a, a part of residents of the farm with self-sustained life. So I'm really interested in that kind of stuff. So, um, well, welcome to Caution. It's got up um, away. So, um, I can I can explain the title. This title is very important. And it says a lot about the show. So I can just uh, say um, the title and then I'll talk about the concept and then you will know, you make sense. So uh, the title is important. There, and they're meant to be um, satirical, but serious, serious in the. Should I be closer? Oh yeah. Oh there yeah. You are. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's weird. <laughs> All right. Uh, so um, caution, X got a what? Oh, I'm sorry, X got away. So if you read it as a sentence. Right? It's uh, very absurd and it's a little like uncertain and it's a little satirical because it's like your ex got away, right? I mean, what is that supposed to mean? So if you haven't seen the word before, so it might get you a little curious. And then ex got away, so did the ex escaped or did just, you know, found a way to something or for something. So. Um, but that's where it comes the, you know, the fun part of the title. But then when you break it down to expose the grounds of the angsty watchers among among you, well, that's where is the serious uh, message. So um, my work in uh, general um, is inspired by uh, how uh, society works and how I see society. Society, especially Western society since uh, 2000. And I think that we live in a very, especially since 2000, and extremely um, rapid changes uh, that are happening all over um, that I think it affects um, uh, um, public, how they, how they think, how they react to certain events. Because we are, uh, especially through media, how media is being used uh, with all the images and information and, and events, and uh, and I'm interested in the psychological part of how that um, um, influences people because it creates um, certain um, responses to all kinds of events. I mean, from politically driven to economical to all kinds of uh, so and most of the time the responses are either anger, anxiety, fear, right? So um, that that creates um, individual anxiety, uh, individual um, anxiety, but at the same time adds to the pol 
collective uh, social anxieties. So their work, um, their, their, uh, that way, uh, my, my work operates on the line between aggressor and victim, powerful and vulnerable, the same line I uh, see when I think about how politically driven ideologies are implemented in Western contemporary society. And, uh, and that is usually through the use of certain control tools like surveillance. I mean, that's really prominent since 2000, I think. So, surveillance, um, controlled media, and uh, propagating fear. And that creates, as I was saying, anxieties, social anxieties such as isolation, division, uh, um, oppression. So, this word that you see is a very metaphoric. Okay, so for me, ambiguity is very important is um, the metaphor. So the metaphorical nature of the creatures is it is intended to be a starting point to start questioning all these um, 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 structures that we live in. So I most of my work over here is cutouts. That that's um, most of them are um, from my thesis work. So that I did research last year, but since then I have some new work, and those are the banners. That's a new series that I'm starting, and uh, some of the sculptural pieces. Um, so I create this um, mutant-like humanoid mutants, and humanoid-like mutants, you would call them. Um, uh, though they are an androgynous, um, and um, they are infused with sarcasm. I mean, I think that um, if you would know me, the you know, more I am a very sarcastic person, it's culture that I come from, we are very you know, direct. And that's something that it shows in the work. And so, um, so the way they're, so they're metaphorical in a, in a way that, um, of figures that are meant to to, um, to to warn, to aware, or uh, to reveal uh, things about um, our society that we live in, filled with uh, violence, um, I mean, uh, fear, and all the the negative things that we see in the uh, news all the all the time, and um, so. Um, I've, uh, a lot of people call them monsters, but if you really like to look at them and uh, and study them, I mean, you might. I mean, for me, it's like what really makes a monster a monster, right? Uh, it's not like I think it's in this contemporary society. It's not anymore the physical appearance that you know you're different and makes you a monster, but it's more like uh, your behavior or the the thought of you know you may be feeling threatened or intimidated and everything that's unfamiliar just put in the group of being the monster so i uh, one of my biggest influences in um in, in the research is uh, the french theorist uh, michel foucault um, and he talks uh, about his concept, uh, one of his concepts is about the monstrosity and what is, what is monster, actually what is monstrous in, um, in contemporary society. And he, uh, he, he says that uh, monsters, uh, monsters are the, the, the strange uh, uh, revealers, uh, sorry, revealers of truth that um, the, uh, the truth that, that is so terrifying that of, of what we normal people are, so what makes us normal. So um, when you look at them, you know, they do look you know, a little weird and maybe disturbing missing limbs and exaggerated heads and the poses and this and that, but when you look at the eye, the eye is a very important um, metaphor. So the eye, he has the duality of um, 
being a metaphor for a human eye because it, you will notice that it's rendered differently than the whole figure, so it's way more smoother, so it's intended to um, uh, to give the illusion of, or to make you think of a human eye, but at the same time to aware for awareness. But at the same time, when you look at it, that eye is all bul bulged out, so it creates um, curiosity, but at the same time, these creatures have fear. So, so um, the also another concept that's very really important is the us versus them throughout the work and uh, the way they're looking at us. It's you know us looking at them. Uh, it's um, you know it makes you like maybe we feel intimidated by them, but by the way they look at you, they look at you and like you're the monster that I should be afraid of. So there are, so that exchange is is very important. So um, uh, the ongoing uh, things that this work um, um, explores are a power relationship, uh, how power works. So that's why uh, you'll see that uh, you have all different, the scale is important, all different sizes, some are, you know, overwhelming, Bob, you have some very small, so when you stand in the, like for example, right here in the white, the white space is also very important. So that allows when the viewer gets into the white space, you practically become part of the scene. So, um, so while I'm here, you know, the size is overwhelming me here, but then I turn here and then you have a little small one and you have power over it. So that power exchange is, uh, Meant so that activates the space. Um, so another, the eyes, right? The gaze is important because the gaze is just like their look, but without the viewer in the space, the eye doesn't really do any, doesn't have any function. So the viewer is needed. So that that exchange of uh, um, is is uh, can happen. So the eyes are meant for also for surveillance, um, and I think in society, I think that's a big issue. I think for me, especially since 2000, I mean we're overwhelmed with um, cameras, internet, all this and that everywhere. And um, but then I'm interested about that that um, since like the beginning that we we. Or I felt like the cameras did bother me when you're out on the street or in stores and it's everywhere you turn at something looking at you. But then with time you get used to it. So you don't really mind it anymore. So I, I really increased with the psychological change. And then I go back to uh, Foucault again because he talks about um, how surveillance is um, uh, is one way of um, self self regulating behavior, so either it's there or it's not there, real or unreal, it doesn't matter, uh, you know, how it makes the person to self-train um, itself how to react, so it's like a mean, it's a mean over control. So um, those are, those. That, that's the research that I am interested in, but I open it, I usually have it open for viewers, and the way they're arranged in the non-linear narratives. So um, it doesn't have a starting point or end point, and it's a small like a narrative into narrative. So it has my own meaning for me, but I have it open to the viewer and I want you to you know, come up with your own based on what's the main concept is, like what do you see in them. Um, um, because I haven't slept for like two days now, so I'm having a hard time uh, remembering everything. Okay, so I <laughs> apologize for like pausing. Um, right, the process. The process is uh, charcoal on, on paper. So it's um, through the process of editing and subscribing.
subtracting charcoal with um, adding charcoal and subtracting erasers. So the erasers um, allow the, for the work to be in constant change. So it like allows for a natural change to occur. So whenever I'm ready to give one character, you know, I think about it, uh, what influences me, what I want to say with it, and then, you know, I, by the time I'm finished, like it goes through its own natural change. So that's important because the whole body of work uh, comments on the accepting or resisting the changes that we go in this transforming society at the moment. So after they're being done, they're cut out and uh, they're applied, applied as you see directly on the wall. So the applying process on the wall is pretty so that's why it takes some um, uh, long time and sometimes I use um, I draw as well. So I have some drawing here, but that adds another few days to the installation, but it depends. Um, also the expressive mark making is also is important. That's where the German expressionism comes in and influence. Um, I we have to get in a special mood to do those. I do it as um, to feel like uneasy or angry about certain so what makes me you know, um, angry about, like, about society and then um, I lock myself and then I work. Because that energy is very important. And uh, the way they are, they are in that in stage of in between. Wow. Because also comments and adds to the 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 uh, time of, of they're in the process of transforming themselves. So it's unclear what they've been before, or what, or how did it got here, or what they're going to become next. So that adds to this overall how I see society nowadays works with all these changes because we're so remote, all kinds of things and. There's no time to stop and think and question things. Um, so uh, it's very you know, surreal seeing it's not real, right? It doesn't exist outside, um, but um, it, it's filtered through my imagination, and um, that's how they come out. 